If you are choosing the EMOM workout, you're going to fill out this worksheet. And remember, EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So what you're going to do is you're going to make an EMOM workout that has one block of five different exercises that you will repeat three times. First thing you need to do is you need to think of what you want your focus to be. If you want it more cardio based, you'll choose more explosive exercises like squat jumps, burpees, or mountain climbers. If you want more of a total body at focus, you'll choose some upper, some lower, and some core. If you want a combination of everything, go ahead and add those in as well. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your number of repetitions for each exercise. Now remember, depending on the exercise, you want to take it, the total number of extra repetitions that you choose should take you about 30 seconds when you go all out. That key phrase is all out. HIIT workouts are trying to get you at an 8, 9, or 10 on the RPE scale. So please make sure you're keeping that in mind. Remember on the EMOM workout, what you are doing is you are following a list of exercises and you're going to start each exercise at the top of a minute. So for example, if I was to count up our time, I would start my first exercise at zero. Then I would rest with whatever time is remaining. My second exercise at one, my third exercise at two, et cetera, et cetera. And again, the way we have this one set up is each block is going to take five minutes and you're going to repeat that block three times to complete the workout. So again, keep in mind that the faster you complete your exercises, the more rest time you're actually going to get. Now to fill out the worksheet. I actually made a mistake on how I filled out these times and that will be fixed on the version that you are filling out. So that doesn't make any difference to you right now. But what you're going to do is you're going to fill in your exercises in this blank here and the number of repetitions that you're going to complete in the box to the right. So I'm going to fill in my exercises first. So I'm first going to choose kettlebell deadlifts. My second exercise is going to be squat jacks. Third exercise is rocket push-ups. A rocket push-up is a push-up that entails more of your shoulder. Then I'm going to be doing burpees. And then finally, I'm going to do alternating split squat jumps. And again, if you don't know and are interested in an exercise, you can simply go onto YouTube or you can even go into Google and search these out. Now I got to choose how many repetitions I'm going to do. If I'm going to go all out, that will take me about 30 seconds. If I choose to go heavy and I go all out on my deadlifts, my repetitions will probably be about, I would say, 18. For squat jacks, I'm going to do 25. Rocket push-ups, I'm going to choose to do 18 again. For burpees, I'm going to go, hmm, let's say 12, alternating split squat jumps. And again, jumping exercises, you tend to do more repetitions. For this one, I'm going to choose 25. Or, yeah, I can't do an odd number. That doesn't work. For a split squat jump, since I want to get both legs equally, I'm going to choose 30 jumps. So again, I'm choosing to go heavy on this one, so I'm going to need to make sure I have the correct equipment. Squat tracks is no equipment. Rocket push-ups, no equipment. Burpees, no equipment. And split squat jumps, no equipment. All right, once I have that done, this is what I'm going to have in front of me during the class time, and that's how I'm going to execute my workout.